welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be much favourite, even though it's late, feminist, even though I don't care because I'll just put it on to show you what I was just loving in the month of March, even though I'm supposed to be filming the April one soon. But I can't help it because I've been busy and I've had so many videos to upload and film. I just thought i just show you. So we'll just go on which I was loving in March. There's a few more quick tea programs. I've got music. Uh, I think that, yeah, more so TV and music, because I don't like music in love much. So we're just going to TV. So the first program was Dancing Ice. Made sure I come back, even though it's like so long since the last series. So it's presented with Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield. Made sure show like celebrities doing it. Like, even though like, it's not like, I don't know if like Dancing on Ice. It must be like hard and incredible to like, learn that on like, Dancing on Ice. But I wish you did like um a normal series just like normal people because then it's usually just um uh, celebrities. So the final it was let's see if I remember it was because I know but Jake, Brooke, and uh, Max, three amazing skaters, the incredible routines and Jake won it. I'm so proud of him because I'm so happy that he's won like one of the variety shows he's done because he did the X Heart, he did the um, and Celebrity, never won them. And then one in like a uh, dance nice and super proud of him because he's like amazing, incredible. And like each week he's like performance, like he got better and better and nothing like improving. So the next one is the Boys UK. I was happy it came back because it's like one of my like um, shows I like watching. And because like this year the, the coaches was. Um, well, I am, so Tom Jones and Jennifer Hudson. They came back for like the last season's came, and then you had the new coach, Oliver Woods, which I love so much. Oliver Woods, you know, because he's an incredible coach, being down to earth, showing who he is, real good personality. He's so funny and he's talented, and it was an amazing show. And uh, who was he? Yeah, I will talk a bit more about it in the April one because I've got it written down. That's so I was going to talk about it bit more, but it's fine. Um, the next one is Ant and Dick's Sad and the Takeaway. It's been an amazing show, and I just like watching it again. It's like always funny, it's quite good, and I watched it Saturday night. But because like the ex had to like, um, present the last two shows on his own because of problems, and had like with the drink driving and Pan Rehab. I was like, oh my god, like, you're so amazing to do the last two shows, one in the studio and then the last one um, in is that Orlando, I think it's the Orlando, Florida. I was getting confused with things because it's been a while back to do like, the two on his own and I'm just so proud of him because it's like, you wouldn't think, because he didn't want to actually do it on his own like, first, because the last one it's like, all these people it's on the holiday to go abroad to this life one for go do it for the fans and the people and it will be happening again but it's got talent because um they're most likely for uh, f filmed most like auditions with Ant but when it gets to the live shows it'll just be deck on its own which it'll be amazing for it. So let me see, is there any more key problems before we go on to Mook? Mm, let's see, I think that is yeah, there's a couple more. Um, the next one is Stand Up for Cancer, The Great British Bake Off. So that's like an amazing series on Channel 4. So like Slayer is doing like, each week to raise like, amazing like, awareness for cancer. And I just like watching it because it's like, funny, it's shown like they could bake or not. <laughs> but then it's like raising money for cancer, which is a real good thing. Uh, the next one is Still Game. So this is like a Scottish programme which I love watching it, but I think the series wasn't like the best one I'd say. It's still good to watch, but it wasn't like the best. Because like, I think the first episode of that in the series was like the best of it, because it was like pretty funny and hilarious. But I don't mind it, because it's still funny. Because you've got the main characters like Jack and Victor. It was a good series to watch, but I hope there's another one coming soon. I think I've got one or two more this week. Where is my list? Yeah, one more TV room before music, and the last one is OS Essex. 
I'm happy it's came back on TV because I'm missing it so much boring. But they've changed so things about. So a lot of like four characters it was in the last series, they're gone. They've been like no f <laughs> I can't speak. They've been like four new people, so two guys, two women. Um but they've changed things a lot because usually you get it used to be on ten and finish at eleven, but now it starts at nine and finishes at ten. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I just had to think though. Uh, still on ITV. But I think the series is getting like more. There's been like so much drama and heartache in, in the series and the other ones I think of. And then it's like, there has been like some moments in it. Um, what else I was going to talk about? Uh, there used to be like two episodes. There used to be like one on Wednesday and one on Sunday. Um, when the first episode of the new series of. Um, Seas for two, which I can't believe it's been in so long. I thought maybe there'd be two episodes. Nah, just the one. So each time it comes on Sunday night, I'm like bored. So I've got to wait the next full on Sunday for the next episode, which is so annoying. But hey, well. Um, do -do 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 -do. Oh, sorry, I'm stressed. I think that's all. I think I'll go on to the music. There's loads of been loving down to March. So the first one is Sigla Future Plum of Faith. A little bit, they have worked before on a previous track which I actually loved and oh my god, it's so amazing the song all about, it's such amazing, it's catchy and Paloma's voice is amazing even like her own stuff or trying something different or dance, her voice is so good. <laughs> oh sorry, I got something stuck in my throat now. Next one is Ray with Mabel and Steph Went Done, Cigarette. That's an amazing song, Girl Power, off the them in the song. It's amazing, it's so good, and I just like the talent of the artists. Um, the next one is Samantha Harvey, please. So this is a YouTuber. She does like her own stuff, and she just covers. Her voice is incredible. I hope to get her. Um, <laughs> sorry, and um, get to see her live soon. And this is our uh, one of our old songs, please. And her voice is amazing. So have a check on YouTube, like in the video, and. She's got like another version of the song with Matt Terry and oh my god the boys he's so worked together and you think that was like original song like first were they two but it's just because it's usually on her own so it's amazing. Uh, the next one is Megan Trainor, it's no excuses, I absolutely love the song so much, I can not listen to it even though I can't stop singing to it and I'm so happy that Megan Trainor is back, more music. She just brings out amazing songs each time. It's like, bum 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 bum. She makes it bring it amazing hits. This one's so catchy. I like the music video. She looks gorgeous in every outfit, and I like there's like three of her <laughs> in each scene. It's so cool. Um, next one is Five Seconds of Summer. Want you back? Happy they're back as well. What a great good artists and bands are coming back out with the music. No, it's not, it's not. And I like the song. It's so good, and it's like a kind of like. <laughs> Like their own like pop rock, but I know they're trying like different styles like uh the new song which I'll be featuring in one of my favourites. But I like the video, it's so cool, they got like on their own, like colourful and it's like rotating like they're in like a room. Can you kinda of see that easy before in other videos? Uh the next one is Louisa Johnson featuring your tunes, yes. I don't get why she took or surname or funny name like on like songs or like titles like singles it's just a weasel. Hmm. Don't know why. I don't I'm still getting used to it just being called a weasel instead of a weasel Johnson. But this song, yes, is an amazing <sighs> song. I cannot sing to it, dancing it every time here and that makes me feel happy. I'm happy that she's back bringing out more music. And I'm hoping we get um uh, debut album from soon because it has been a while because he knows she's released like, a lot of good music and I hope we get in, like, an album but just have to wait and see let's see what else I've got on this list so the next one is Ella Air feature I don't know if I can see this right Ying Bane I think yeah and Siphon every time a song Ella Air blings out even though it's like Roman or uh, Cavalation she makes a catchy, amazing tune and I love it so much. And this one is such a good song to sing on. 
Hello Boogie. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so next is Sabrina Carpenter and Jonas Blue Alien. I just like this song so much. I cannot stop listening to it. Serena Carpenter's voice is amazing. Mm, how about I listen? Yeah, no. Kinda got like I don't know how to leave yet. Even though she did support the BAMPs like one of the previous stores. But she didn't do like Glasgow. I kinda got it. Cause I like a song. Bumps gonna keep on. Um, no, 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 no. Um. <laughs> so this song is so catchy and the music video is so cool too. Next one is Jelly Booth and my oh, feature, I don't know if I can say it, Kalani. Done for me, this song is so catchy. I mean, the video is so cool. And I'm happy Jelly Booth bring him back. Oh, mother, it's so amazing. And I cannot wait to hear like, more music from him and another album. <laughs> Sorry, be weird. The next one is David Guetta, feature Sea of Flames. Even though they worked before and they like, weren't again, they were amazing, incredible tunes. <laughs> and like, Sia's voice is incredible. It's not what song she like sings or writes. It's not incredible over her voice. Amazing. I wish. Even though like, uh, like some music videos you get like, not her in it, but it'd be like the dancer or. I don't know, I think it would be nice to just see Sia in the music video, I don't know. But it's been hard being creative, you know what I mean? Uh, the next, well this is kind of just two songs because it's Shawn Mendes, In My Blood and Lost in Japan. I can't believe he lost <laughs> at least like two singles. I think like one each like, day. Both of the songs are amazing but my favourite of them is In My Blood. <sighs> oh my god. It's just amazing, emotional, beautiful song and it's like personal to me. And every time he rings like a credible, like, even though like, it's up tempo or poppy or even like his most song, oh my gosh, his voice is so amazing. And Lost Japan, pff, an amazing song. I hope to get to see him live once because in Glasgow, because like last tour he did, I was gutted I didn't get tickets or get to see him at his hotel. Because <laughs> the new hotel was like, missed him like just after he left. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but I'm hoping. I get to meet him and see him one day soon. And can I wait for his nail when it comes in? And the next one is Roof and the Bow. The song is so amazing, it's beautiful. And if you don't know who Roof and is, have a listen to her song for Spotify because her voice is incredible. So next one is uh, Charlie Booth features Jane Taylor Change. Another amazing song from Charlie Booth. Just amazing, emotional, beautiful. Can't know what else to describe it. <laughs> it's just amazing with his vocals and with both of their voices. It's just an incredible song. So that's all and I'm my favourite so much. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Sorry it is dead light. Because it was on the list a bit early, but I don't know if it just came and I just thought, um, even though I'm supposed to be following it, because one, meh, but I don't care. But I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you enjoy this, get. <laughs> I can't speak. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to. If you do, I don't know what it is, but still, it's like something stuck on my phone, it's like no more speak. If you subscribe to my channel, press the little bell because that'll give you uh, more notifications when I upload videos and it will go into your um, subscription box because sometimes if you don't press the bell, you don't get the video in the subscription box and think, where's it going? But I hope you enjoyed watching it, even though it's <sighs> a late video and kind of a bit quick to talk thing because I'm just I do like talking things but I just want to get this one out the road and get enough time to film around the way so I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you again soon in the video bye